that's real good. Hi, this is Janet from Manhattan Edit Workshop, and today I would like to talk about two buttons called Lift and Extract. The difference between these buttons is that the Lift button, which is the red upward pointing arrow, will remove material from your tracks, but leave a gap. Whereas the yellow arrow, uh, upward pointing arrow, will close the gap while removing the material from your tracks. Both of these also live on your keyboard. The extract button is located on the X key and the lift is located on your Z key. Now, I sometimes see students who don't fully understand how these buttons work, put their playhead on the clip that they would like to extract and then press on the extract button but they're sorely disappointed this will not work because both the lift and the extract only work if you have a mark in and a mark out in your timeline. The only way for Avid to know which part of the track you're trying to remove is if there's a mark in and a mark out. So let's say I would like to remove this uh, Himalayan clip here from my track. First thing is to mark those in and out marks. Uh, I could individually go and snap to the beginning, mark an in, snap to the end and mark an out. But an even quicker way to do this would be to hit the mark clip button, which is also located on the T key on your keyboard. So once I have the mark clip, you notice there's a mark in and a mark out, the clip becomes highlighted. Now, if my goal is to close the gap and therefore ripple everything downstream, I can simply press the extract button. You can see the gap is closed and clips are now rippled up. Let me undo that. If I want to lift the clip out of the timeline, I can simply hit the lift key and that will lift it out and leave black. Now the cool thing about the lift and extract and one of the reasons why I tend to use these keys a lot is because these buttons respect the sync locks, which you may have noticed I have selected in my track. Sync locks are these little dashes here or actually more diagonal lines that appear right next to the track. And when sync locks are on, Avid is going to attempt to keep everything in sync, even though I'm extracting clips just from certain tracks and not from all of my tracks. So for example, uh, what I sometimes see people do is they would like to extract a clip from the timeline. They will use one of the segment modes to do that. Uh, the yellow one is sort of extract-like in that it tries to close the gaps. So if I were to select this, and another way to remove it might be to hit the delete key, but take a look at what happens to the B-roll that's living right now on video two and the attached audio on A3. Once I have the clip selected with a segment arrow, if I were to hit delete, you'll notice that those clips don't come along with the rest of the clips and now are out of sync. So the segment arrows well, in particular, the yellow segment arrow, which is called Extract Splice In, does not respect sync locks by default. So if you use this method to extract clips, you may run into trouble if you have any uh, clips that exist on other tracks outside of your main video track. So let me undo that. So just to recap, the lift and the extract keys both need mark in and mark outs in order to work. And the extract key will respect sync locks if sync locks are enabled. This is Janet from Manhattan Edit Workshop. Thanks for listening.